Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing and reviewing some Pathfinder and Dungeons and Lasers terrain. Thanks to Archon Studio for sending me out these two terrain packs to have a look at, and so I thought in this video we could get them unboxed, take a look at all the contents, get it built, put together, and just talk about different games we can use it in. The Abomination Vaults, the Pathfinder terrain, is the first official terrain dedicated to the Abomination Vaults adventure path, and this is built in cooperation with Paizo and it's designed to work alongside the player's guide that you can download for free. I'll put a link to Paizo's website in the description below. And then there's also this Dungeons and Lasers Dwarven Mine, which can be pretty much used in any RPG or even some skirmish games. And we'll talk about that once we've got them opened and had a good look at the contents. Let's have a look at the Dwarven Mine first. So you can see at the top it tells us it's 5e compatible so if you play Dungeons and Dragons this is going to be perfect for that and the idea with this terrain is you build it as you play the game so yeah you can use it in 5e but it's not just for that game you can literally use it in any game you like to play that you think it will work in so here it tells you what's going to be included you've got the floors walls doors doorway and customization bits as well and so you get this built-in grid the half height walls you can customize it and it's modular, so you can build it however you like, either in advance or as you play in the game. Let's get it open, and then we can have a look at everything that's included inside, and then we'll get it all like trimmed up, put together, and then you can have a really good idea of how this works, and then decide whether or not this is something you'd like to add to your collection. So let's get the lid off, and then we can see what's included there. So off it comes. There we go, there's the lid. And the first thing we see are these little uh, funny shapes. So these are going to be the connectors. And these connect all the different pieces of the flooring together. And you're going to get lots of sprues. But they're all going to be the same. So you get two, three, this is the fourth, five, and six. So you're going to get six sprues all together. And each sprue is identical. And then we get some little booklets here, which we'll have a close look at in a second. And so that's everything that's included in the box there. So let's break it down. We'll have a look at the books first and then we'll go through the sprues so you can have a close up look at the detail on this and then I'll get it all built. And first up, we've got this little booklet and this is a little catalogue just showing you the prices of everything, other sets in the range that you can buy. Here's the Abomination Vaults that we're going to look at in a second. You've got the Dwarven Mine, which we're looking at now. Fantasy customization bits if you want to add some extras. These would be great for scatter terrain for other skirmish games as well. Animal companions and then some big monsters as well. So nice little catalogue. I like getting things like this. It reminds me of um, Asterix. You know, back in the 80s, you get the Asterix toys. You always get a little catalogue with it. I really like that. Then we've got the Dwarven Mine Assembly Guide. So, I mean, this is really easy. We're just going to trim it off the sprue, remove all the little sprue leftovers, and then we're going to connect it all together in different ways. And you can see it's very easy and straightforward, as you'll see once we do get it built here. And then once you can either build it in advance or as you go through the game. So that's pretty much it. Nice and simple. And here's all the sprues now. So here's our little connectors first. And then we've got the six sprues. And because they're all the same, we'll just look at one of them and then I'll give you an idea of the quality of the casting and everything. So let's have a look here. So we've got these nice tiles. Now you can see the big one, it's almost got like a pool in it. So you could paint it all like a grey colour or you could paint it to look like pools of gunk or water, however you like. And it's nice rigid plastic, this nice and strong. So it certainly isn't um, flimsy at all. And it's really going to be nice and sturdy once it's all put together. Got some nice details like the flaming torches. The doors are really nice done. And then the little um, like posts with the lantern hanging off it is really nice too. So that's all the contents of the Dwarven Mine. Let's have a look at the Abomination Vaults next. So this is the Abomination Vaults, and there's some different branding here. This is the Pathfinder specific terrain, and again, it's done in, in conjunction with Paizo, so this is specific for an actual player guide, so you can play the Abomination Vaults adventure path and then use this in it. So it's going to make a lot of sense, the iconography and everything. You've got floors, walls, doors, doorways, and customization bits 
in there as well. And just like with the Dwarven mine, it's got all the same information. It's all customizable and modular too. So let's open this one up as well. And the good thing is, if you wanted to, you can use both of these sets together. So you could combine them to make one big dungeon. Because you'll see once I get this lid off here, they're going to have the same connectors and it's all the same scale. So this time we get the books on the top. So we put those to one side. We've seen that already. So yeah, it's exactly the same catalogue. We've got the Abomination Vaults Assembly Guide. And then we've got those connectors again. So yeah, they're exactly the same as the Dwarven Mine one. So this is all going to work nicely together if you wanted it to. The tiles are going to look different though. So you'd almost be going into one different section of dungeon. So we get six sprues again and each sprue is identical. So let's have a look at the Assembly Guide just so you can see that quickly. And then we'll have a close up look at the sprue. And the assembly guide's going to be just as easy as the other one. Same thing, trimming, getting it all nice and tidy, and then just building it however you like. So not much uh, new things to see there. We've seen that already with the Dwarven Mine. Now let's have a look at the sprue. So I'll get the camera to focus so you can see the nice detailing on this. So I love the detail, really nice and crisp. And then these are going to be great to paint because there's lots of textures there. So when you're doing just like one coat of base coat, maybe put a shade over it or something like a contrast paint. And then you dry brush it. That's going to come up really nice. So all that texture is going to really take that dry brush in well. And then you've got all the pillars. You've got different walls and things. So a real different aesthetic to this section and this box set. So this is going to look really nice to play with. And you can see where the connectors go there. Nice and thick too. That's really thick plastic so they're not messing around with the quality at all. Now we've seen the contents of both the boxes I'll show you how the system works and how to put it together before showing you the complete built layout of both dungeons. Here I've snipped off all the different components and so you get things like this little bit of rubble some scattered terrain there you've got this little whoops let's get that you've got this little lantern so that really adds a bit of character to the dungeon little pegs to fill in spare holes You've got pieces that go together to form these nice pillars. And then you've got the tiled section. So you get a four by four and a two by four. And then you get walls in different sizes like this one, which is four tiles long, two tiles long. This one's two tile with a little hole for the lantern to go in. And then you've got this nice two tile long section of door. The door can pop out. It's got these hinges. So you don't glue these in unless you wanted to. But the idea is they open and close. So you've actually got something you can manipulate during the game. And then this one again for those lanterns, you get side clips and clips to connect the different tiles together. So let's have a look at how those tiles go together. So we've got the two by four one here. And if I flip it over, you can see you've got these little uh, round kind of pegs almost going in and they're going to go in the hole of these connectors. So if you want to connect two tiles together, you would use the longer connectors and then you simply line them up and push fit them in. So nice and strong, that holds it in with the friction really well. Then you've got these pegs and they're going to go along all the edges where you want to put the different walls or those door sections. So they clip in like that and we'll just continue to do this all the way around. Now we've got all those connectors in, it's time to put the doors. So let's grab a, a two tile and a four tile long and they're simply going to go into those holes and they fit in again nice and snug, really strong. They're not going to bounce out even if you like accidentally nudge it when you're playing and so really nice and sturdy and then your door's going to go in like that and then continue putting the different wall sections in, clipping them in however you like. You've got so much flexibility with this set, it's really great. And then the walls are half height. Now this is good because you can see all the different um, players in there, the little models. And then you'll use little pegs to fill in the holes. You'll add your scattered terrain and your pillars wherever you like. And so that brings it to life. And then little details like the torch here just go in those holes. And there we go. We've got a nice section of dungeon ready to do battle in. And here we go. I've clipped off all the pieces from the sprues and I've built the two different dungeons. So let's have a look at the first one. We'll go with the Abomination Vaults first. And here you can see I've used just the guide that it shows in that assembly scroll. So really nice and easy to put together. You can do it however you like. But when it's down like this, you've got a nice little scene to play out your RPG or your skirmish games and your battles and with all the scattered terrain and posts. It's got lots of character. The details are fantastic. And once this is trimmed up properly, all those little sprue pieces and painted, it's going to be great fun to get some models in there. 
And the reason they've done these half walls is so you can still get that immersive quality from it. So when you're playing the game, you're really involved. And especially with the doors opening and closing, see you know, what's behind them. You get these nice shots going through the doorways. But you can get a good idea of what's going on over the whole area where you've already travelled if you're building it as you're going. But also it's easy to access your models and move them around. You're not fiddling in between high walls and accidentally knocking things over. Now let's have a look at the Dwarven Mine. And so here we go, we've got the Dwarven Mine all laid out. Again, we've got some fantastic detail on the walls with all the rubble and those wooden beams propping it up and the half height wall allowing you to see the whole area. So when you're playing, you get a nice feel but still keeping that immersive quality. It just looks awesome when you put the miniatures in there. You get these great shots going up the long corridors and the mine. So yeah, I'm really loving how it looks. And I think this will be really fun to use for your RPG games, but also skirmish games as well. I love playing Warcry, and I think if you could buy a few packs of this, you could use it to recreate the catacombs layout. But I had a different idea. I thought, what about having a doorway like this that's a portal? So when you go through this doorway, you don't stay on the battlefield board, but you end up in another room, like a subsection of the dungeon. So you go through the door in the catacombs board, but you come out of the door in the section of dungeon and maybe there's a boss to fight there. Maybe there's some special items you can find if you can get past the skeletons guarding it. I think that would be a really fun scenario to play out. It reminds me a lot of a kind of computer game scene where you go through a portal, you get the treasure or complete like a little submission and then you come back to the main game and carry on with that mission. So that's the sort of thing I would be using this for, bringing it into my Weekend Warriors game and using this as a little um, scenario where you join the two sets together and battle your way through a little section of dungeon or a mine and then that can be part of an ongoing campaign narrative story that you're telling. So there we go, there's the two sets all built and hopefully this has given you a good idea of what's included in the box, how you can use it in your RPG game, but also using it in other skirmish games like Warcry and Weekend Warriors 2. I love how easy it is to put it together, completely modular, so you can play a different dungeon every time and being able to combine it with the different sets is really nice too, just to spread it out and just get more battle areas going on. I think especially for skirmish games you want to have lots of areas to do battle in but for RPGs having that method of building it as you play through the game I think is a really neat aspect. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in finding out more about this or picking up a set for yourself then I'll put some links down in the description below to Archon Studios where you can buy it and also some links to find out more information about Pathfinder Terrain and the Abomination Vault's Adventure Path. Thanks again to Archon Studios for sending me these out to review. It's always great to get new products and share them with you here on the channel just to give you some different ideas of what you can use in your games. If you like the video please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible and if you're interested in joining the community it'd be awesome to see you there and I'll put a link for that in the description down below.